Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Jamara J. Smith and it is my desire to help you find your purpose, fulfill your destiny, and to have successful relationships in every area of your life. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can be a part of the Jam Fam. Well, listen, I'm so happy that you made it to the fourth installment of this series of how to unlock unshakable confidence in four simple steps. Do you remember all three steps? Okay, it's four total and today's a final one and that is self-talk. So the first step was what? Number one was self-awareness. Number two was self-reflection. Number three is self-compassion. And number four, as I just stated, is self-talk. And I talked a little bit about that in a previous video, but I wanted to reiterate, in order for us to be positive and have a positive mindset, there's something that you're saying to yourself all day long, every single day. Just like I told you in the previous video, there's a movie that you have been watching that is replaying in your mind during childhood, while you were in junior high school, while you were in high school, in college, your marriage. There's something that you're saying to yourself that is like a story that you're saying to yourself about different situations in different people. You could either be telling yourself, I'm never going to amount to anything because someone told you that, you believe that. There could be a situation that happened over and over and over again where somebody was saying the same thing. Different people would say the same things to you or you to this, you to that. You're never going to do this. You're never going to do that. You know, negative talk, just negative anything. And you believed it. And so now when that same situation may come up again, you like, like for an example, you could be at work and they've asked you to be the representative for your team. Like, you know, uh, I used to work in a call center and in a call center, we would be put on different teams and we would have different team meetings. Like every week at the end of the week, we would discuss, you know, our pros, our cons, what we could work on. But the supervisor or manager would pick one person to speak on behalf of the whole team. And so they would, she would just pick, you know, someone random, just pick you. And then if she picked me, I'll be like, oh my gosh, I, I why did she pick me? And I would have that self-talk in my mind. And this was years ago. And I would have that self-negative talk in my mind and say, I'm not a good public speaker. Why did she pick me? I don't want to stand up in front of all of these people and talk. I never have anything good to say. I don't speak eloquently. I'm not as intelligent as everybody else. Negative self-talk because of the way that you were programmed in your childhood by what somebody said in authority, what you choose to believe. Now, all of that is a lie, of course, but I chose to think and believe those things, which then will make me so super nervous to stand up and say the simplest things. You know, all you had to do was stand up and say, okay, our team did this, our team did that, we're good at this, not so good at that, this is what we need to improve on. But I would literally be shaking like, I don't know what to say, I don't know how to say it, why did she pick me? I would even try to come up with an excuse, you know, <clears throat> I would say, oh, I gotta go uh, take a call, emergency phone call, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Just to not have to speak in front of people. Because I chose to believe at that time, decades ago, that I wasn't a good public speaker, which is a lie. You, again, don't believe anything negative that someone says about you. Excuse me. <coughs> you don't have to believe it. Whose report are you going to believe? I choose to believe the report of the Lord. And so... You're never going to please everybody, no matter what you do, no matter what you say. So it's best to just be your authentic self. Be who you, who God created you to be. Stop pretending to be something to please somebody else at the sacrifice of you being fake and phony. Why? Because you believe the self-talk. So, oh, so I'm not good enough. So I need to stay in my lane. Who told you that? And the person that told you that, why did you believe that? Do you not know when someone speaks negativity into your life, there's something that they're lacking and they're just taking it out on you? 
Nine times out of 10, they're the ones that have a lack of self-confidence. They're the ones that have the issue, but they're going to put their issues on you and then you receive it and you hold on to it. Especially throughout adolescence because you're so impacted by what people say. Everything is a big deal when you're in elementary and middle and high school. Everything's escalated. What somebody thinks of you means the world to you. And, you know, one negative thing could just knock you, you know, knock your day off. Like you're just ready to go home. It's the end of the world. I need to get out of here. I'm done. You know, because again, you lack the maturity and the emotional intelligence to handle a lot of things that are being said about you. But as time goes on, as you mature, and then you realize who you are, and especially as you mature, as you get older, you start to realize, you know what? I do not care what they think. You, you're, you're over it. You're like, I am who I am. You're either going to accept me for me or move on with your life. You're not going to be for everybody. And that is okay. As long as you are who God created you to be, that's all that matters. And so along with the self-talk, you need to tell yourself these things on a regular basis. Having those affirmations matter because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So you can have your affirmations, you can have your list and you're saying them out loud. There's a lot going on when you say something out of your mouth. You're speaking your words of affirmation. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You hear it in your ear. You spoke it out of your mouth. You're hearing it in your ear. It's in your heart. Now your brain believes it. Because you said it out of your mouth, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You heard it through your ear. Your brain is composing it and understanding that's what you believe. Your subconscious mind, which programs how you react to everything in life, which is really how you are in life. Your subconscious mind really is controlling you. You're telling your subconscious mind what you said out of your mouth. Uh, she can do all things through Christ that strengthens her. She believes that she can do all things. So now she's going to do all things. That is positive self-talk. That is what you need to say to yourself on a regular basis to unlock unshakable confidence. When you say words out of your mouth, the Bible says you can decree and declare a thing and it shall be established. It didn't say if it's a possibility. It said it will be established. The Bible says you can decree and declare speaking out of your mouth a thing. Whatever you just spoke out of your mouth, whether positive or negative, it's established. Don't you want to have positive self-talk to establish what it is that you want to do in life? whatever goals you have, what your vision, whatever you want to do, don't you want it to be positive? So speak positive out of your mouth. And even when you say something negative, it's established. Oh, I can't do it. It's established. Oh, I'm never going to amount to anything. It's established. Your subconscious heard you and he's going to make sure that you're never going to amount to anything because you just, you're programming your mind to think that way. That is the self-talk. That is the negative story that you're telling yourself. We don't want to do that. We want to do the opposite of that. We want to proclaim, decree, and declare what we want through an affirmation. Let us hear our words out of our mouth so our brain can comprehend it, get into our, sub our subconscious mind. And also the Bible says, meditate on the word day and night. When I say my affirmations in the morning, because I'm saying it every day over and over and over again, that is the story that's playing in my mind all day. So when something comes up that is beyond like comprehension, I'm like, ah, I don't, can I do that? Wait a minute. The subconscious mind bring back to my remembrance. Holy Spirit bring back to my remembrance. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. So yes, you can do it. You are more than a conqueror. So yes, you can do it. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So yes, you can do it. You are enough. So yes, you will do it. That is positive self-talk. That, and you know, people say, oh, I've worked on myself and now I've come, you know, I, I'm able to manifest all of these things in my life because I was working on myself. Part of them working on themselves is self-talk. 
rewriting the, the story that's been playing in your mind, if it was negative, turning it into a positive. That's how you unlock unshakable confidence with these four simple steps. If you do these four simple steps on a regular basis, you will have supernatural confidence that you didn't even know was on the inside of you because you spoke it out of your mouth. Then your ear, you're hearing what you're saying. Your subconscious mind grabs those words and it replays it over and over and over again in your mind. And so now you believe what you say out of your mouth. So when someone else comes to you, you're like, bounces right off of you. Doesn't even affect you. What you, oh, okay. Bounces right off of you. Doesn't even affect you. That's where you want to get to with the self-talk. With all four of these steps, the self-awareness, the self-reflection, the self-compassion, and the self-talk. All of these four simple steps put together will unlock the unshakable confidence that's on the inside of you in Jesus' name. Again, I am Jamara J. Smith. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy that you were here for all four steps. Now I need you to implement it. Do all four steps and I want to get a testimony on what God has done for you in your life. Because if he did it for me, he will most definitely do it for you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.